Skywarp72 with Cruisers Gaming, and I think I may have noticed something about all the heavily flung rumors about the backwards compatibility of Forza Motorsport 4, and I wanted to share it with you. But before I do, please, if you would, reach over and click that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay up to date on all that is Forza. I thank you much. Also, feel free to join in the conversation over at the Cruisers Gaming Facebook group, follow Cruisers on Twitter, and make sure to check out that Cruisers Patreon, especially if you went hooked up with a real-life Cruisers sticker. And again, I thank you all for the support. Also, congratulations to old friend and longtime supporter of the channel, Honest Dan, for being the first person I knew to complete all the LEGO DLC had to throw at us in Horizon 4. That's every single brick collected, race run, house completely built, and all the achievements to go with it, and he did this last Sunday night. Make sure to check his gamer tag because he built and tuned a car for most every brick challenge that was required uh, to have a certain different kind of car. And I know from experience that they get the job done as they have helped me with the immense amount of challenges that are in the game. Congratulations on us, Dan. At E3 this year, Xbox crushed the hopes of thousands of Forza players who were awaiting with bated breath the announcement of the backwards compatibility of Forza Motorsport 4. Fifteen games were announced as the last 360 games to get the backwards pass on Xbox One, and sadly, FM4 was not on the list. Xbox has stated that the backwards compatibility efforts will continue just on the new Project Scarlet console, which, if you stop and think of the timeline, it doesn't look very good for FM4 at all since Project Scarlet will release with a brand new Forza title, negating FM4 as it would hurt the sales of the newly released Forza. So. Just like that, the idea of FM4 getting that all-important backwards pass has been crushed. You know, like your dreams of becoming a big YouTuber. <laughs> oh, wait, what? What? That's just me? Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's just me. Anyways, Forza Motorsport 4's backwards pass has been told a hard no. Or has it? In late February of this year, there was a tweet by Xbox DVR saying that Forza Motorsport 4 was added to the list of series that they covered, which probably lit the fire of the rumor mill in the first place. While it is confirmed that Forza Motorsport 4 will not be backwards compatible, the Xbox DVR also covers games that have been remastered. In a video I released more than a year ago, also speaking on this very subject, I predicted that if FM4 would come out, it would come out near or at the end of the Xbox One's life cycle, considering that at that point, the latest iterations of both Horizon and Motorsport will be well done with their DLC. I also mentioned that a remaster would serve the game more justice than a simple backwards compatibility pass, due to the server issues, uh, not being able to join or start a club, uh, and just a gaggle of other problems the game has right now. After watching that video again myself, more and more things started pointing toward that remaster, and I'm going to share those with you today. Like I said in that previous video, licensing would be the biggest hurdle when it came to resurrecting FM4. The biggest problem with the licensing would be manufacturers that refuse to play ball with video game developers now, most notably Toyota, but also including others that were in FM4 like DeLorean and Panos, who seem to be just as stubborn as Toyota. However, seeing manufacturers and cars showing up in Forza Horizon 4 that were also in Forza Motorsport 4 is also a good sign. Along with the woes of licensing comes licenses for using real-life tracks. 
While fan favorites like Fujimi Kaido that are fictional wouldn't be a problem, tracks like Twin Ring Rutegi and Tsuko Bukuba, however the hell you say that damn name, uh, they pose real problems. However, if the game were to be remastered, it would be fair to say that the exclusion of all this licensed content, I mean, this stuff could just be simply removed and make a release possible. Albeit, who knows about the licensing for stuff like the in-game music, or the voiceovers from our favorite old farts over at the former Top Gear show. <laughs> yeah, did you guys remember that part? Power! In Italy, you don't take the name of the father in vain. So when Ferrari decided to call this car the Enzo, you knew they had something special in mind. Uh, the severely limited array of cars available in Forza Vista and 4? Remember that the voiceover for those cars was done by Jeremy Clarkson, along with some of the career stuff, if I remember correctly. Which could also raise a licensing red flag. Another huge nudge toward hints FM4 could be remastered is the fact that since there is no Forza title slated to come out this fall, it leaves a one-year pay gap in Turn 10 schedule. The very first pay gap since Horizon 1 and the longest pay gap to date. It only makes sense to fill this void with a remaster of Forza Motorsport 4. Even if it is stripped of everything they can't get the licensing for again, it would still boast more extra features than all the other Forza Motorsport games after it combined, what with public-private lobbies, a superior storefront, and the plethora of tracks. And who's to say, we know they have the rights to current Forza tracks that were not in FM4. They might be putting a few of those tracks in, like Daytona, Lime Rock, and Road America, to make up for the tracks they would have to subtract. Uh, okay, it's a far reach, I know, but remember, I still play Forza 2, and I have my own hopes. Yeah, it's far-fetched, yet not impossible. While I do have some other reasons I see the remaster happening that I'll leave out, just making sure it's just the most relevant ones, I'll leave you with the biggest one. Turn 10, in their communication with myself and other race marshals, have made it known that the marshalling program would be extending and growing with the future of motorsport. It's a safe bet to say that marshals will be a part of the Forza Motorsport 8 landscape, but... If they are remastering FM4, they could be taking the time to implement the marshalling system there as well, which would explain why they have stepped up their game lately in trying to find new marshals. If that system were to extend to other forces, they would in turn need more manpower in the marshalling system, as then it would be spanning up to three iterations of the game being Forza Motorsport 7, the incoming Forza Motorsport 8, and if they do the remaster of Forza Motorsport 4. Whew. As always, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Have you seen any clues as the possible remaster of Forza Motorsport 4? I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Light up those comments. <laughs> This week's subscriber shoutout goes out to Steven Samain. Steven, over at the YouTube channel Everything Gaming, recently posted some videos on the Forza Racing Network Facebook group. Now, <laughs> before I ever made my first Forza video, which was pretty bad, mind you, I researched other small YouTube channels doing Forza content. The first one I came across that wasn't a mega channel like Fail Race or that pipsqueak over at AR12 was Everything Gaming. His flashy opening, smooth editing, and voiceovers was a style I could appreciate and, in a way, was partially responsible for what's to come on my own channel. Well, through a conversation in the comments, I let him know that much, and uh, lo and behold, uh, without me telling him who I was, uh, he asked me if I was the guy who did the Cruisers channel, and he said he, he was a fan of it. Wow, it's 
Steven, it's so good to meet you and, and share that with you, man. And I'm looking forward to working with you in the future. It just goes to show that no matter how you think you're doing, good or bad, you could be someone else's inspiration, like everything gaming was to me. Hence why I love to support all that support me well, like Loft Racing, Forza Racing Network, Ultimate Illusions, Shadow Hunter, SimRacers.us, all you guys watching now, believe me, even though the Cruiser's channel is still really small, I appreciate every single one of you for, for your support, my friends. And remember, those friends, they're the family you get to choose. Don't forget to inspire them. See you next week, fellow Cruisers.